Once your tax firm has delivered out your tax return, you will receive an email message from no reply at safesendreturns.com. And in that email message will be a link to access your tax return. Once you click on that link, you'll see this folder in the middle. You can click anywhere on that folder to get started. Towards the top right, you'll see a contact person field. If at any time you have questions, you can click here to see who to direct those questions to. The first thing you'll see once you've clicked on that folder is to request an access code, which will send a code to your email address, and that code will be good for 20 minutes. Once that code has been entered and you click continue, you'll now see the main landing page of your tax return. On the left will be a summary of that return, any refunds, overpayments applied, and payments due, and estimate information. To get started in the process, you can click any of these icons or click here to begin. The first thing you'll see is a message from your tax firm. Once you click continue, the next item you'll see is an invoice from your tax firm if they have included one. You can select pay later and continue. You'll be able to pay that invoice later. You're then able to go through and review your filing instructions, your tax return, and any attachments that your firm may have included for you to download. And at any time, if you'd like to forward any of these documents on, you can click forward a copy of my tax documents enter in the recipient information and select which documents to email on. Once you've reviewed your documents, you can move on to the signing process. If you'll be manually signing your e-file authorizations, you'll be able to select this download documents button, which will automatically download those e-file authorizations into a PDF for you to print and sign. Once you've signed, you'll be able, able to either upload the signed copies back into the SafeSend system, or you could send back to your firm by mail or by fax. Continuing on to the next page, you will be able to distribute out K-1 packages to your partners or shareholders, either by printing and mailing or sending electronically, which would allow you to see your partner information, or you can input those partner email addresses, update their information, and you're able to email K-1 packages out. You'll see that status will update when the K-1 package is sent. It'll update again when that partner downloads their K-1 package. Moving on to the last screen, you're able to see any payments you might need to make in the system. You'd be able to click that pay button to either download the voucher or to pay online through that authority's website. Up at the top, you're able to set reminder emails that will remind you before any of these payments are due. You can download all payment vouchers and filing instructions from this screen. And if your firm has included an invoice, you'll be able to see and download that invoice here. And once you're done, you can click the Done button at the bottom right, which will go back to the summary page. You're able to view or download any of your documents make payments, or distribute K-1s at a later time if you wish.